Good morning. My name is Matt Rokes, and I'm the manager of Plaza Physical Therapy. I'm here with Dr. Cagle. Good morning. And we're going to go through our exercises in terms of what you should be doing following your surgery, whether it be a total knee or a total hip replacement. First one we're going to go through is our total knee replacement um, exercises. So Dr. Cagle is actually going to sit just like this, so actually square up a little bit. We call this our long arc quad. The reason why we do it this way is to gain strength through our quad muscle. Okay, it's four muscles on the top of the quad. It's going to help us go up and down stairs, get up and off the toilet, functional things that you need for everyday life. First off, what Dr. Cagle is going to do, he's actually going to try and kick his leg all the way out. The idea is to get motion, but then also get the muscle on the top of the knee to, to fire and to get stronger. Now on our exercise sheet, which you will have a PDF of, it will actually tell you how many reps and how many sets to do every day. This is a very easy way to follow um, your exercises and make sure you're doing enough and not too much. So usually what I have patients do to begin with is do about 10 of them just to know that we have good motion and to make sure we're getting that quad to fire. As you can kind of see with Dr. Cagle, when he brings his leg down, he actually is trying to pull underneath him. And that gives us make sure we have good motion just from the start. So we're actually going from flexion and extension and not just working on one motion. And you can feel this tightening up in the top of your thigh muscles right here. Perfect. Excellent. Next one we're going to have Dr. Cagle do, he's actually going to lay on his back. So with this one, we actually do what's called a quad set. And so he's going to do it on both sides. And actually, actually what we do have our patients do is to strengthen both sides up. It's, it won't hurt you. We want you to contract the muscle on the top of the thigh. If you're able to do the long arc quad, we know that the muscle actually fires. And so then we know that this one will fire too. We're just trying to isolate it. It gets a couple things. Number one, the quad to function, but then also gets us that good extended position. So if you see, he's firing that, it goes all the way straight, and then he relaxes, it'll bend a little bit, using that muscle to tighten that, that quad up and to push that down. We do that on both sides. Same thing, it'll say how many sets and reps to do each side to make sure we go through that and, and get a little bit more endurance strength. And you can feel this actually trying to push your knee down into the bed to have your leg extend upward. <coughs> Another easy one to do, and you'll see this with Dr. Cagle being so tall, his feet actually come off the side of the, the end of the bed. But we call it our ankle pumps. Okay, so all he's going to do, he's going to pull up and push down, get, make sure we keep motion, but it also starts to work some of that fluid um, to make sure we don't get uh, swelling into the feet and the ankles. So easy one. You can see that motion all the way down and pulling all the way up. Very good. So <clears throat> one of the next ones uh, focus on motion is we're actually going to do what's called a heel slide. Now, depending on how you're feeling after surgery, sometimes we need an aid. So sometimes people, what they'll do is they'll put a, uh, a belt around their ankle or around their foot to get a little bit more motion. However, Dr. Cagle's not going to need that. So he's going to try and pull his foot and then his heel as close to his bottom as he can. When he does that, it's going to allow us to get more knee motion. You can see how his calf is coming and touching his thigh. That is giving us the motion that we're looking for. In the beginning, right after surgery, you're not going to have that, mo that much motion, and that's okay. The idea is to find something to work for, and then or work forward too. The other thing is you can see on the other side. So if you have a, a knee that has not had surgery on it, use that one kind of as a guide in terms of the amount of motion you're looking for. And you can see this from the side, so it's an easy way to set this up. So calf raises, you know, we want to make sure your weight is equal on both sides. So you're going to actually come up through your, uh, up through your toes. Now all of these exercises, um, when you get your PDF file, it's actually going to tell you how many reps and how many sets to do every day. There's no guesswork. It takes it all and tells you exactly what you should be doing. The next exercise after this is what we call our hamstring curl. So uh, Dr. Cagle is actually going to take his right leg and he's going to bend at the knee, pulling his hip or his uh, heel towards his uh, towards his hip. 
And you can feel that right in the back of your leg right here. That's what you're trying to work on. Try not to work on extending your hip this way. That's more of kind of your buttock muscles right here. This is trying to focus on your hamstring where you're just simply bending your knee. Right, so what we're going to do next, I'm going to have Dr. Kegel bend this knee. We're gonna, this is a straight leg raise. Now remember this is for the patients that have had a total knee replacement. Um, we can use a straight leg raise if the quad is functioning well. So we've gone through our long arc quad, we've gone through our quad sets, now we're going to go through a straight leg raise. So he's going to straighten this leg all the way out and then lift up. And that's about as far as we go. The focus isn't how high you, you raise it, it's about making sure that quad is nice and tight and it's nice and strong keeping that leg straight. We don't want it to bend as you lift up. If it's bending, it means you're not holding that quad tight enough. Perfect. And there's one more that I'll show that's probably not on the sheet but I'm a huge fan of. It's called a prone knee extension. It's a great way that if your hamstrings are a little bit tight, especially right after knee replacement surgery, that you can use gravity to kind of break that, that tension in the hamstring muscle. It's very easy to do. You can do with household items. All you need is a bag and maybe a couple of cans of soup or water bottles. And you simply hang it off your ankle and then do this when you lay down. So you start at the edge of your couch or your bed, have your knee hanging off the edge of the bed and just lay face down. And when you want to set up on the bed, remember your kneecap should be past the edge of whatever you're laying on as far as your couch or your bed or whatnot. Have your knee fully off the edge of the bed and just relax and let gravity do the work. And you can see how gravity, if you have a contraction in your legs, eventually gravity is going to tire out those tight hamstrings and just let it kind of go to a neutral resting position. And you can even augment it or make it a little easier by hanging, like I said, a bag of some weights or soup cans or something between two, three, or four, or five pounds hanging off this ankle and just letting it kind of gradually stretch out to get that full locked out extended knee because in the first week after surgery, that's what we're trying to avoid is what's called a contracture or you get a permanent bend in your knee and it won't fully go straight anymore because if the hamstrings contract and don't let your knee go straight, the scar tissue can form behind your knee not letting it ever go straight again. So this is a very nice where you can relax and read a book, watch television, whatever you want to do for 10 minutes or so and just let your knee casually relax with gravity getting it fully straight. One thing to remember when you're doing this is to, <clears throat> like in Dr. Kegel talk, uh, touched on it a couple times is to focus on just relaxing. If you're trying to fight it a little bit or trying to force it, it won't actually work the way you want it to. So relaxed all the way out. One thing we talk to our patients about is what's called time over tension. The longer you're in this position, the better off you're going to be. Trying just to do it for 30 seconds and that's all you're going for won't necessarily get the stretch we're looking for. So long, prolonged stretch does so much more to actually change the tissue and that's what you're looking for. So try and be in this for at least a couple, you know, we usually tell patients three, two to three minutes. The longer you're in it, the better off you'll be. Perfect. Excellent. So I hope you enjoy this little tutorial over some of the basic physical therapy exercises after having a knee replacement. If you have any questions, you can give myself a call or, or Matt here at Plaza Physical Therapy, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have and get you through this process. Thank you again, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and trusting myself here at Orthopedic Specialists with the care of your knee replacement.